everyone, I'm Liz, and welcome to the Del Real Foods Kitchen. It's about to get real delicious as we turn up the heat to bring some new and inspiring flavor to your kitchen. So let's get cooking. Hi everyone, today I'm here with a delicious new recipe from Las Vegas food blogger Renee Weinmiller of thesundayfunday.com. I'm so happy to be here to share my Southwest chicken and waffles with you. Let's get started. Great, so we're gonna start out with our tamales mm -hmm. and we're just gonna wrap these in some damp paper towels and you're gonna microwave those according to package direction. So we've gotten our tamales out of the microwave and let's start making the next step, which is gonna be the mash for the waffle balls. So if you wouldn't mind, let's unwrap these tamales. And we're just gonna dump these right into the bowl. So let's just break these eggs and mix them up a little bit before we add them to our tamale mixture. We are just going to dump our egg mixture right into that bowl. So a great tool for mm -hmm. mixing the tamales is a potato masher. So now that we have our tamale mixture all ready, let's grab a plate and make some balls. So a great way to do this is just to grab a spoon. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna divide this mixture into about 12 balls. And they don't have to be perfect, because mm -hmm. the waffle maker will smash them down for us anyway. Yeah. Let's put them in our preheated waffle iron. Okay. We're just gonna give our waffle iron a little bit of a spritz of oil. We're gonna just blot the extra oil off just to keep the waffle iron from smoking. So we're just gonna grab a set of tongs okay. and use these to place our waffle balls. Now these are gonna go on the waffle maker for three minutes. So we'll just use our tongs and remove mm -hmm. these guys. And I'm gonna put them on a paper towel and that's gonna prevent them from getting too soggy. It'll keep that nice crispness. So we're gonna add our chicken to a pan with a little bit of cooking oil. So now we've got our chicken going in a nice sizzle and we're gonna add the salsa. We're just gonna give this a little bit of a toss. So we're just going to chop it into our sections and then we're ready for plating. Awesome. So let's put our waffles on the plate. Great, and we're ready, ready to add some toppings onto these. Okay. We're just gonna sprinkle on some of the cheese. Next we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro and that's gonna give it some freshness and a little bit of color. And our last step, we're gonna take a little bit of the salsa that we used mm -hmm. for cooking and add that just on the top. So there we have it. Our Southwest chicken and waffles featuring Dario foods, sweet corn tamales, and pollo asado. So let's give them a try. Okay. You can really taste the smokiness mm -hmm. and the sweet corn. I thought these are really great for brunch too. They'd be great with a mimosa or some sangria. Mm -hmm. I love the tamale waffle. <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me today. Thank you. For more great tasting recipes, be sure to tune in here on our Del Real Foods channel and make sure to visit us at delrealfoods.com.